Nope, it is supposed to be 32. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. 32 up in this. <laughs> it is. Uh, um. Yes. We we haven't we haven't run the intro on the live stream in a while, so I think. All right, we, shall we do that? I think I might have to do that. Hold on, I just want to make sure the live stream's working before I go and do anything crazy. Okay, live stream seems to be working. I'm gonna run the intro. Let so me guys, run the intro. Let me no, run the intro. No, no, I gotta. Way, everybody can hear it then. No, yeah. but I then you don't get the video if you run it. Oh, the video. That's right. right. Go uh, ahead. Right. Okay, I'm gonna run it. So you guys gotta. You guys gotta be quiet. Clock out, come home, and drink away To bash and burn the weekly plays Douchey calls and sweaty balls, this is Scotch Sporting See, wasn't that nice? You guys I couldn't hear it. Damn it. Well, you're not going to hear it. I'm sorry. God damn it. Every time we talk about it. Every single time. Can we, can we put, like, words in, like, a little bouncing ball? Ooh, no. That's too much work. Oh, come on. No, that's way too much work. Oh, man. You know, I have a full-time job outside of this, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just saying. Whoa. Right? I have children. Sorry. See, so I have no. children that I have to feed? No, no, no. No, no, no. Get them to fucking do it. Oh, okay. How good are you with, like, After Let's Effects and... and... Oh, wow. of dr <laughs> I say, how are you with After Effects? And she says, what, with drugs and alcohol? Get out, Whoa! Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. Your teenage daughter. Yeah. At the program After Effects, you know, and and Final Cut and like oh. video editing. Okay. Wow. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Parenting skills from Scotch Sporting. Parenting skills at its best. Um. Right. Well, I guess welcome to Scotch Sporting. <laughs> Yeah, you've uh, you've just witnessed Chris Taylor uh, being a dad. Yeah. Yep. What uh, is up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, I've got Mark Butt over here. Hey, hey, hey. Our, na our names are right over here. You didn't change Batman. Oh, oh man. Yeah, change Batman. Batman. Quick. Um, currently, um, the NHL preseason has have started. Cool. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Ottawa and the Leafs have two games going on tonight. But Which squad? one do you watch? Which one do you watch indeed? Well, one's on TSN four, I believe. And then the other one's on uh fuck after all of Uh who cares? But one <laughs> like one's in Toronto and one's in Ottawa. Yeah. That would make the uh, most uh, sense. Canada. Yeah. Canada. Canada. A suburb of Ottawa. It's a suburb of Ottawa, yes. Um Ottawa is winning the one in Ottawa, and Toronto is winning the one in Toronto. Whoa. Rigged. Yeah. 3-2 uh, in Ottawa and 2 nothing in Toronto. So Bernier has the shutout one, I assume? <laughs> Stats. Hey, Mark. Uh, Ottawa. Uh, mm -hmm. did, yes. the Leafs, did the Leafs sign Setaguchi? Yeah, to a professional try contract. There you go. Look at that. They also, they also get Glenn Cross and... Wait for it. Double B Brad Boys. What? <laughs> He's <Fuck>. back. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, funny. So, yes, hockey is back. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Yeah, call, me, call me when the season actually starts. Yeah, me too. I'm... Actually, how about that Patrick Kane uh, press conference? Uh, I'm not going to talk about the case. Yet everyone's gonna keep asking me every question about the and case. And he answers it the exact same. Question. I appreciate your question. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate your question. Yeah, but However, I'm going I to have too much up. respect for the legal process yeah. to yeah. comment on it here. It's awesome. Why are you asking questions about? It? He said at the beginning, "I'm not answering questions." Hey, I'll so stuff, when you allegedly raped right, that yeah. girl. Last week, the Jim Harbaugh shit. Yeah. Like, ask me a football question. Ask me a football question. We'll get on with it. Yeah. Like, come on. Ask me a real one. Come on. My favorite, my favorite moment like that is when uh, when Rex Ryan like turned backwards when they were asking him the questions. Have you seen yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah. I'm just not listening to you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Go away. Um, <laughs> your your San Jose Sharks are playing Vancouver. This yeah. Is, this is Good. 
Uh, I fucking hate the Canucks, though. Fuck that well, team. Fuck that team I'm, and that I'm, city I'm, and everybody. We're all in that same boat. Although I'm going to that city very soon, so I should probably not say fuck that city. Um, well, hopefully nobody in that city is currently listening. But, well, I uh, hope they are. Well, I also hope they are. Sick. Oh. You, you know what? Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that back for a minute because I like Vancouver as a city. As a city, it is a beautiful city. But hockey, fuck you. Fair That's enough. The Vancouver Canucks, fuck you. Vancouver, the city, cool mm -hmm. beans. It's like you with Calgary. You hate the city, but you don't mind the team. Uh, Pardon? Calgary. I fucking hate the Flames. Okay, well then you hate both the city and the Flames. Yes. All right. Oh, snap, son. I yeah. hate Mika Kiprasov. I hate that team. Mm -hmm. There's so many reasons for me to hate that team. Oh, well, Mika's well, gone. Well, Ed Ed Edmonton and Calgary are both uh, are having a, a split squad game today as well. Damn. Mm. Yeah. Just split okay. squads all around. Yeah, that one is 0-0 uh, zero, zero in both games. Uh, exciting. Yeah, thrilling games. Just thrilling. Um, yeah. Who really cares about hockey right now? That's right. There's well, way more important things going on. Drafts. Like I was last week, yeah. where I missed the podcast. Sure. Yeah. And I have another one uh, on so, Wednesday. So you missed the podcast to do fantasy hockey? Yes. Especially when the hockey appointment is $100? Yes. I guess uh, that's fair. You're throwing yeah. a lot of money down yeah. on that. That's it fair. It requires my fair attention. Enough. Fair enough. All right. Undivided it's attention. Like, you don't even go to work some days because you're doing uh, <laughs> fucking research for your hockey league. That's not true at all. Uh-huh. If anything, it's the other way around. I, I go to work and don't do my research anymore. Well, it seems like a wise investment for that $100 then. Hey, I did finish fourth, so I did make money. So I didn't actually pay for it this year. Oh, well, that's good. I made $50 because I won $150, so I got 50 bucks back and the $100 I put back into the pool. Yeah. yeah. Fancy. And the year before <laughs> that, I I think finished just on a cusp of money, so I literally just say, yeah, keep won it. 100 bucks and, yeah, just keep it. On, just in, keep it for yeah. the next, next time. Keep it. Let it ride. Mm -hmm. Let it ride. Okay. Can we bring it down for a moment? Bring it down a notch. Yeah. Okay. Is it time for that talk? It's, it's time for it's time for the talk. Time for the talk. Oh, what's, what's the it's talk? The, if you look at the description on on the YouTube video, Absolutely. the first thing it says is is the tie catch season over. Yeah. So. Is it over? Remember when that play happened? The very first thing I yelled was, "Why didn't he slide?" Yeah. He because here's the thing, Mark. It was. It popped before he even had a chance. I watch. I just watched it again, and he he take he plants, and that's when it pops. So he's not even. So it wasn't even the hit that. It wasn't the hit that did it. He, he uh -uh. planted wrong. And well, and ha had he prepared himself to slide, he wouldn't have had to plant this. Maybe, feet. maybe, but um. So, uh, Zach Kalaros, uh, torn ACL, in his right knee, gone for the season. Um, and I, game. Just, I like what uh, position does he play? I got oh, nothing. quarterback. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got God damn it, Tyler. <laughs> Listen, so if, 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 seriously, I, I am all for watching CFL. If you can get me excited about it. Okay. Right you should now, get excited just about it. Game. Right now. I'm not excited about it. If you, we take him to a game and have him sit with us and Skelly and all those guys, he'll be jacked up. How could you not be? I know. I don't know. I've never been, I, well, I haven't been with you guys, I guess. Yeah. I've been to I've been to one Ticats game. I've been to one CFL game in my life. That's it. That's it. Did you go by accident? I've been one th this week. <laughs> Did I go by accident? <laughs> yeah. Hey, where are we? This looks like some sort of sporting event. <laughs> I like sports. Uh, uh, back in high school, my buddy's girlfriend bought him tickets. Yeah. She didn't want to go. So I went with him. Cool. When a girlfriend buys a ticket for the boyfriend, she usually says, you, you're yeah. taking me with you. Yeah, usually that yeah. happens. But it was three tickets. Oh. Which was very strange. So it was him and me, and I forget who else came with us. Okay. But there was three of us. And it was like, why didn't she want to come? Yeah. I don't know, whatever. 
So got, got a free. It was uh, midfield. You remember who you playing? Fuck no. That was, <laughs> this would have been an Ivor win, right? Hey? This would have been an Ivor win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ivor win for sure. I've, and I've been to Ivor win a bajillion times because the high school I went to, yeah. our championship for our football game was at Ivor win. Yeah, they did that a lot, actually, with the so, high school championship yeah, games. I've, put it at Ivor win. I've been yeah. there a bunch. I did the chains at one of those games. Ooh. Ooh. So I've, I've been on the field at Iverwind. Whoa. I, Back to my question, though. Sorry. Mm. Yes. Is it over? Is the season over? I mean, look, so, they look like shit. But it's like you said. Like I said. Yeah. Austin, you know, game plans for that particular game, assuming no one gets hurt. So when something. Well, not can't... assuming no one get hurt, gets hurt, but he game plans with what he's got. Yeah. You don't assume someone's going to get hurt, right? No, you no, don't. No. So, yeah. but yeah. So I, not... I I don't know. Like it, they seem to have confidence in him and he's coached him for a long time or he coached him for a long time. Um I don't know. I I like I want to believe mm-hmm. but we're 8 and 4 now. 8 and 4. 8 and 4. Um we've got Calgary. We're on a bye this week. We got Calgary next week. Um, with Cornish back. Yeah. I mean, okay, so here, here's what would make me feel better about this. I, I know Cornish. I know that guy's name. If, if Moon people. If, if we <laughs> go with Matthews, right? If Matthews is the guy, then we go with him. If, if Gable comes back, then, then I'm okay. I think we have enough to at least make the playoffs and maybe get there. Well, Our defense but, is spectacular. Our defense yeah. allowed three points that last game. Yes, Tyler. How many games do you have left? Um, Ten. No, wait. It's 12 ten. games. So it's little... Six. Yes, six is right. Six games. Yeah. Okay. So there is the potential for out of playoffs. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's very, We'd have very... to, If we lose like, out, we're not making the playoffs. Yeah, if you lose team. out. Then, yeah, yeah. 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 So like, but if, if potential is there, if we yeah. win, if we Wallets win, are, no, the E number is not very low. Right. If we win two games, we're in. If we okay. win two more games, for sure we're in the playoffs. That's the magic number is two. Magic number is two. Yeah. That's not bad. If you get to ten wins, you're in the playoffs in the CFL. Yeah. Absolutely. That shit. We made the playoffs it, five hundred. Yeah. It, Actually, if you, win, if you win ten games in the NFL, you're pretty much in the hold playoffs. Hold on. Yeah, but you only play 16 games in the NFL. True. Um, we made the playoffs at 8 and 10. Yeah, I know. Two years ago. It's happened before. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still possible. That's when the West was like okay. just dominating yeah. the East. How many teams don't get in the playoffs? Three? Three. Three. Well, at that three. Time, yeah, it was two. Right? But now it's nine <laughs> teams, so it's three. <laughs> yeah. three. Like, you're fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. It just drives me insane. Why? It's like, why don't just have everybody in? Uh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. So much better. Hold on. Hold on. How many teams in the NHL make the playoffs? Uh, Well, I guess half. More than half. It's more than half. Yeah, 16 out of 30. That's that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But so more than half six, make it in the CFL. What's the percentages seven, on six, that, Mark? Seven. What's the percentages? 66 Point six 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 six. What's the percentage on sixteen out of thirty? It's less than that, right? It is. It's yeah, it's less than that. It's about fifty two. Uh fifty three point three, repeating of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I, I, I I get what you're saying. It's not a but come on. So you're saying baseball is the only so, sport that gets so it right. What are you saying? So so you're saying that what, just four teams should make the playoffs in the CFL? No, I think everybody should make it. Uh, everybody? Yeah. First place team gets a bye because there's not there's nine teams. Uh-huh, but top, there's divisions. Top, top, you need, you need no, top the, two. The bomb two have to play against each other to figure out who's you, the bomb seed. You need top two to go through to make it even. No, no. Yeah, the, yeah. You, you still have seven teams left over. No, if you, if you get top two, trust me, I've done fighting for years. Okay. You need the top top two go through. You have everybody else play off, and you're good. You still have seven, you have another yeah. number of teams left over though. 
if you take the top two teams. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so if you ate the bottom two, fight Make the off. bottom two fight out for the last spot. Yeah, yeah that'd like, be, what, that would be like great. Like what baseball hilarious. does for the last wild card yeah, spot, essentially. Wild card spot. That, yeah. yeah, there you go. Wild card spot. Play playing for the playoffs right there. Yeah, but no, see, I don't. Uh, anyways. The Saskatchewan fans to say, hey, we actually have a shot. We can still make the playoffs, yeah. even with two wins. One win. One win. No, I meant, I'm assuming they'll get but a second like, win. Yeah. yeah, you think so? I don't know. They look like shit this week. Amazing. So funny. So funny. Hey, strange hey, things happen that we'll talk about in the NFL. Are, 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 true. Yeah, are, let's. Yeah, let's. Good you, segue, uh, Mark. Are you yeah. optimistic for I, I want to see how I want to see how this next game with Calgary goes. Now that's tough because Calgary's really good. But if we that can stay even it's uh the second. So even cool. if we can stay if we can stay competitive with Calgary, like if we don't get the shit kicked out of us, then I'm then I'm hopeful. And if we win, if we win, then I'm on back on the bandwagon. Well, you're off of it right now? No, I'm never going to be off the bandwagon. Are you kidding? Say? Fuck, man. I was there I was there when they were 1-18, okay? I don't think a hurt quarterback is going to knock me off the bandwagon. Let's see. And this is a good segue to baseball, or we had the segue to NFL. Which way do we want to go? Well, let, let's go football first. All right. Let's, let's stick, stick with, with football. football. We can let's go back We can football. go back to our anecdote with the baseball one. All right. Which I, I want to talk about. But, yeah. So, speaking of... Crazy upsets. Crazy we upsets. We had a fucking awful week at Pickle. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm in a survivor pool. <laughs> How many people are out? I bet it's so lots. bad yeah. that the guy joining the pool is considering starting up a, a another one, one because well, it's, it's if, like the, if the Colts in. lose tonight, we'll have three people left in the pool. That's amazing. Week two. I know it's week two. How many people picked the fucking rate? Like I took the, the Saints. A lot of people took the Ravens. A lot of people took the Dolphins. Yeah. Holy shit. Right? Because the Jags Excuse won, me. the Raiders won. Jags won, Raiders won. And I, I would assume some people took the Rams because the Redskins won too. Yeah. I would have. I, I guess, like, I picked the Rams to win. Yeah. We all picked the Rams to win. Yeah. We're all under uh, 500 for the week, by the way. Yeah, we are. No. Sorry, we need you say? to win tonight. I need. I need. Oh, we're all under five hundred right now. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're yeah. seven and eight. Yes, me and you need the Colts to win tonight to to get yeah. to five hundred. Yeah. Tay needs them to be only a game down from us. Yeah. And Tyler needs the Jets to win to go, go five hundred. And you know what's funny? I I went to the Jets. And I only, I only took the one. I took the Browns and actually got that right. Yeah, he did get yeah. that right. I was shocked. <laughs> I was sitting there going, there's no way. No, fuck off. Because like, I, I put it in there. I'm like, there's no way the Browns are fucking winning with Manziel with them. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. So to recap last week. Yeah. Let's just go because again. we yeah. didn't do yeah. that. Yeah. Recap yeah. last week. Mark won the week with 12 and 4. Woo. Despite Every- going against my Niners. Yeah, well. It we looked fantastic that week, but then again, it clearly. Yeah, and then I picked them this back. week. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, and the rest of us went <laughs> ten and six. And currently this week, uh, Tay has gone six and nine, uh, and the rest of us are at seven and eight. Yeah, just awful. Imagine if you had a pools card and got every single game right. I was right just now. gonna say, I'd be the only person, and probably like close to maybe eight hundred thousand dollars. That would be retarded. Yeah. That, like, it would be awesome, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I okay, saw... So, beginning, Thursday night game. Denver and KC. I was Whoa. scared shitless going into this <laughs> game. You were like, I, I picked the Broncos to win because... Because you can't, have to. I can't pick the Chiefs. Right. I cannot no. pick the fucking if you're, if you're Not only that, but if your team's competitively good, you never but, go against them. But even, like, after last week, mm-hmm. like, with Peyton fucking shit in the bag. Yeah. I was... I was actually scared of yeah. what was going to happen. Well, and the like, first touchdown of the game was a pick six, was it not? Uh, yeah, it was I believe second so. Touchdown. And funny, funny thing is, yeah. um, the the Broncos defense in mm-hmm. fantasy got twenty points. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but I didn't have them, unfortunately. And uh, Katie had him on her bench. Oh, screaming! I think she won this week anyway. And uh, I just won the week too. Oh, I, cr- I crushed my week with Antonio Brown, but we'll get to that later. Uh, so it was 14 nothing because yeah. I'm at work. I'm like, oh, okay, 14 nothing. About two minutes left in the first half. Okay, this is good. I picked the Chiefs. Yeah. 
I come back, look at the halftime score. I'm like, 14-14, what the well, fuck and, happened? And, like, when you texted me and you said, are you watching the yeah, game? Yeah, usually, usually, hell I'm like, no. I can't fucking watch this <laughs> shit. So, I, I forget what I was doing on Thursday night, but I was not watching the Broncos game because I was scared out of my fucking mind. Uh, and then later that night, Chris and I were playing uh, Destiny. Yeah. And then he's like, holy shit, they just tied the game. Yeah, like, it was... <laughs> at at halftime, with 48 seconds left, they yeah. tied the game 14-14, went yeah. to half. At the end of the third quarter, it was 17-17. Yeah. And then... The Chiefs had to leave with, what, the 40 seconds left? The, yes. So, yeah. uh, they scored a touchdown with two and a half minutes left. Yeah. And somehow, the Broncos scored two touchdowns in 36 well, seconds. Well, here's what happened. So, they got the touchdown the normal way with 40 seconds left, and then on yeah. the ensuing... Uh, possession with the Chiefs. Chris on the headphone was like, "Oh my God, it's a pick six. I thought I it just was, thought it was, it was a pick a six. Fumble it was a fumble, fumble recovery. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not actually watching the game. I could just hear it from the other room. So, fumble return. Oh my God! How do you fumble that ball? Like, how do you? It's the ball, Charles. That was the second fumble of the game, by second the way. Fumble. Of the game. And the first fumble was on the three. Yeah. In their first drive. Yeah. Yes. That's so. True. And Katie had Jamal Charles. <laughs> well, he still got 126 yards. Yeah, so. he did. He did okay, and a couple of touchdowns. Yeah. So he did okay. Um, but oh my, like that. Where? When did we get a defense? I think you guys always had no, it. We always had it. Man, listen, Denver had a defense enough to let fucking uh, Tim Tebow win a playoff game. Okay. Tim Tebow won a playoff game because they had a good defense. Mm -hmm. Not because Tim Tebow was, you know, doing his little... Doing 25 for 30. Funny, yeah. funny oh, thing. Oh, yes. Thing. Aaron Rodgers. So, wait, I'll get yeah. to that in a second. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to Aaron right. Rodgers in a second. Right. Um, I On Twitter today, the mayor of Dallas tweeted at the Dallas Cowboys because Romo is now out. He's out, yeah. Yep. yeah. That... They should sign Tebow. <laughs> Good thing the mayor isn't running the fucking team. Right? Wow. How funny is that? Too funny. Oh, anyway, go with uh, go on with your your Rogers. Okay, so because the Tim will Tim Tebow thing being the God person. Yeah, yeah. So it's the rematch of the NFC Championship game. Yeah. And if you recall. After the game, Russell Wilson credited God as to the reason why they won that game and came back. Yeah. And so, last night's game, the Packers won 27-17 quite handily. And in a post-game interview, tried to keep it a straight face and say pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Saying God was the reason why they won the game. It's amazing. And else. Watch it. It's hilarious. Just him trying to keep that straight face. Okay, you ready, Chris? Oh, you have it? I, I, okay. No, I've got an image for you. Oh, my no. buddy who's a Packers fan. Yeah, I love it. Uh, on his Facebook, or yeah. like it's an Instagram photo. Yeah. It took this. Uh, well, hopefully you guys can knock, read it. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Owen. Owen who? Owen two. Oh, and then Russell's crying. Oh, I saw, snap. I saw another one where they. It's the the uh, Sherman. With that face, like that, like uh, you know, when they when they yeah, lost yeah. the Super Bowl, and his nostrils like really big, and it's an yeah. O, and they put a dash two beside his nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that was, is funny. There was a good one that I saw in NFL memes yesterday, and it said the Bucks, the Jags, the Raiders, the Redskins, and the Browns all won today. All better than the Seahawks. That sentence will never be said again in the rest of human history. Wow. For now. Imagine you picked all those on a ProLine ticket. That's what I mean, right? How much money would you have made? Just those five. Because those will probably be multiple parts of at least three, because they're a major underdog. So yeah. three to the power of five, right? So nine, eight, seven, eight, one, two, four, eight. You put five bucks down on that, that's a thousand bucks. Boom. Shit. Yeah. A thousand bucks. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm just going to start picking all underdogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know if a week like this is ever going to happen. Had yeah. I been doing it, I would have had $1,000. This yeah. is true. <laughs> so just just to go down down the line here for this week, um, for games that we picked everything, like we all picked the same. Uh, so we all picked the Panthers. They won. Yes. Mm -hmm. We all picked the Cardinals. Yeah. 
and they won. Yeah. Those are the only two games that we all picked together that won. <laughs> the Ravens, the Dolphins, the Rams, the Giants, and the Saints all lost. Fucking Saints yeah. like terrible, eh? Bucks, the Falcons, the Redskins. They were 11-point the favorites. And the, Ra- the Raiders. The Saints they, were 11-point favorites. They look bad. Against a Bucks team that got I, destroyed I by Tennessee at home. Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. Um, did Did you guys hear about what the what the Bills were selling at the stadium this weekend? <laughs> no, what was it? Played of balls? No, they oh. were selling pumps. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, pretty freaking hilarious. Uh, uh, currently, the Jets are up ten nothing on the Colts. No. Yes. There it is. Are you uh, fucking kidding? Well, I did take the Jets to cover the spread. So. Eric Decker has 91 yards and a touchdown. Dame's on my bench. Not on my bench, motherfuckers. So does Indy... Okay, so... This is in Indy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the Jets. The Jets? The Jets have a good defense. I know. That's... Uh... Wow. Fuck Ravens defense this week killed me. I got minus three points against the fucking Raiders. Yeah. You would think they would have, uh, yeah. Better the Packers Raiders. against and my other defense is the Packers, which would have got you more points. Which would have got me yeah. seven points, but I've won the week now, so it's okay. Okay, so I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry. I'm gonna go way off the rails right now for okay. for one second. Okay, you, okay, hang on, one second. Yeah. Welcome to our logo. What? Yeah. What happened to no boobs? Fuck. God damn it! Okay, it'll be. Oh, is she's back next week, isn't she? She's back she is. Next week. God damn it! Um, so. All right, I just realized that. Oh man. <laughs> anyways, now I'm trying to do it in the middle of the thing. Oh, this is not gonna work. Okay. So, anyways, so I'm I'm just on the TSN website because I'm like I just wanted to see the scores of the baseball game and and sure. whatnot. And then I see this article that says, is Connor McDavid already exceeding expectations? What the fuck are you talking about? There ha- he hasn't even played a game. A regular season game. I d- he hasn't yeah. played a preseason game. Yes, he has. When? He's played one Today. Right, right no, now. No. He played in the rookie camp. That's, That's not rookie a preseason camp. camp. That's it's nothing. The- it's okay. It's a scrimmage against your own fucking team. No, they played against the university. Uh, rook, they played against the university. Come on. It's this. Doesn't who fucking cares? Okay. It's university. Okay. He fucking oh, I don't know. Not even know. I'm I'm so, sorry. I'm sorry. But fuck you, TSN. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> so angry. Okay. So angry. God damn it. Edmonton stats. You can't even air fucking hockey games, TSN. Fuck off. God damn it. Uh. Anyways, let's talk about the Blue Jays. Has nothing in this game tonight. All right. Well, and first, and he's got no shots on goal. Let's talk about the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Um, I was at. Date? I was at the game. It's four nothing. Yep. Yeah. Martin just currently right quiet. now. Yeah. Four nothing. Uh, against the Yankees. Which is oh, Yankees. So actually, that's a good segue for the Hamilton and the Ticats game. So, <laughs> this first, Tyler. No, no, here's the thing. So, we're at the, we're at the Ticats game. Wait, wait. Hey, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is. Okay. Yeah. See, I know how so it is, like, so. Hey, this game is shit. So, our buddy Paul yeah. has five TV, was it, on the phone? Sure. Yeah, so do I. We started watching baseball instead okay. at the football game because he okay. couldn't stand watching the football game anymore. Okay. So Jays are four two, in the ninth. Well, the ninth, yeah. <laughs> I was I was fucking there. And then it happened. And then his first his words: "I'm watching two blowups at the same time." <laughs> I was I was at the game on Saturday, and they're up four to two. Yep. And Osuna's as as in. I'm like, awesome. Top of the ninth. We're good. Yeah. No fucking way. No. Home run tie game. And then you're going, ah, god damn it. Yeah. And then it just, it went to shit from yeah. there. And then it was 7-4, was it and not? 7-4. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, and then they they go, albeit they gave it a run in the bottom of the ninth. They made it seven six. Well, here here's my question: If, if uh, Hague had hit it anywhere else in the fucking park mm -hmm. except for dead fucking straight center, mm -hmm. it would have been a, a home, home run, run tie game. Yeah. But here's the other thing: you think I thought Gibbons was a bit um, premature in taking out. What, Encarnacion and Colabello? Yeah. Right? Yeah. He took out Edwin for the runner. Yeah. And took a Colabello for the runner as well. Uh, more for the For bat, defense, I yeah. Think. No, because yeah. he, he went smoke at first. Yeah. For defense. Yeah. And Kawasaki came in for Edwin, I believe. Yeah. To run. Wait, Pompey, who did Pompey come in for? Was it Donaldson? No, no, no. Pom I think Pompey came in... Pompey came in for Colabello, because then Haig hit for him. Oh, I don't remember. Hey, so regardless, I think they took him out way too because he would had bats in the bottom of the ninth for that, right? But now yeah. they didn't. But they, I think Gibbons expected oh, he, the yeah. bullpen to, to lock it down like they usually did. To lock it down. Yeah. And then on Sunday... So, Sunday, pretty much the same, same thing. thing happened. Yeah. Threw up 3 nothing. So, okay, so, yeah, so Pompey came in for Edwin, mm -hmm. uh, and then Haig came in for Pompey, yeah. and then Carrera came in for Haig. So who did Kawasaki come Kale in for? Kawasaki came in for Colabello right. to run, to run, yeah. and then Smoke came in for defense. Mm -hmm. And then Cecil, Cecil pitched okay, mm -hmm. Osuna blew it. Mm -hmm. He blew his own safe, technically. <laughs> He, well, yeah, because he, he was a pitcher of record in the eighth inning because he came in. Yes, so he, he yeah, lost. He lost the game and lost yeah. the save. Yeah, technically not a save. No, but it was. Yeah. yeah, fucking ridiculous. But that's okay. I mean, apparently Boston's got our number this year. That's what I'm saying. For some weird reason, yeah, the Yankees, the Jays are, I believe, twelve and four against them, outscoring them seventy-six to forty-three. I think it was. And they're up four nothing. And they're tonight. up four nothing. So, you sweep it here, you're fine. The magic number goes from from twelve. That's what it is now. Yeah, twelve. Okay. So if they sweep the Yankees, we'll get down to six. Yeah. Wow. That fast. That's, that's a huge number. Yeah. Like that's uh, and that is that the clinch a playoff spot? No, that's clinch the division. The division. Yeah. Right. It's twelve yeah. for the division. Twelve, 12 for the, the division. division. And after today, there's twelve games left. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. MLB.com. Looking at the standings, standings right now. Standings. <clears throat> I want to see these E's. All these E's. All right, so... Yeah, so the Yankees... The Yankees number is 12 to be eliminated. Obviously the same number for us to clinch. Uh, Baltimore's number is 2. The elimination number? Yep. <laughs> Tampa Bay and Boston <clears throat> is 1. Nice. Uh, and Tampa Bay is playing Boston, which is hilarious. That is very funny. Yeah, so one of those teams will be knocked out. Yeah. Regardless. That is funny. That's very <laughs> funny. Um, Minnesota uh, is uh, three. So I guess Kansas City's number is three to clinch the division. Mm -hmm. uh, Cleveland's number is two. The White Sox and the Tigers are out. Mm -hmm. uh, Houston is 12, which obviously means Texas can clinch in 12, mm -hmm. same as the Jays. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Angels is all is ten, Seattle is six, and the A's are out. And that's the American League, the National League. Lots we, of E's. Lots of E's in the National League. Lot. Oh my God, yeah, lots of E's. When the top three team in all of baseball are in the same division, <clears throat> yes, that's Crazy. insane. So uh, the and they have Mets... to play against each other. So imagine if they were in separate divisions, they'd have like a hundred wins by now. Oh yeah, easy. Well, especially St. Louis, they've already clinched. Yeah. Like they, they already have a playoffs. Oh yeah, yeah, they're the first team. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the Mets, uh, eight games to win, which means Washington is eight games and they're out. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else in that division is gone. Miami, Atlanta, and Philly, all out. Uh, all below five hundred. Yep. By the way, mm -hmm. um, uh, St. Louis has clinched a playoff spot, not uh, the division yet. That's ten games away. So Pittsburgh. Is in second. They that their number is ten. Mm -hmm. uh, Chicago Cubs is eight. 
uh, Cincy and Milwaukee are out. Uh, the Dodgers, uh, seven, is their number to clinch. And obviously San Fran is, Four Giants. is seven as well. Uh, and Long division. Arizona, Long San Diego, and Colorado are all yeah. out of there. That's fucking crazy. And the wild card spot. Come on, load. You loaded the regular season so quickly. <laughs> Thank you. God damn fucking Wi-Fi. Um, so uh, the Angels elimination number out of the wild card is 11, as well as the Twins. Uh, obviously, currently the Yankees in Houston have that. Uh, Baltimore... Uh, sorry, Cleveland 10, Baltimore 8, Seattle, Tampa, and Boston are all 7. Uh, the Sox and Detroit are 6 and 4, and Oakland is out. So Oakland is never making the playoffs this year. Uh, last week we said they had a chance. They Well, their elimination number was down to 1. They had to yeah. win out. They had to and win. everyone else had to lose out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which obviously didn't happen. Apparently. Um, and the National League is obviously completely different. Pittsburgh and Chicago are in the wild card spots right now. Uh, San Fran and Washington are five, is their number, and everybody else is out. Yeah. <laughs> so Arizona, San Diego, Miami, Cincinnati, Colorado, Milwaukee, Atlanta, and Philly are all out of the playoffs. And they're like, can we go to the American League? <laughs> right? <laughs> Fucking wild. Fucking wild. So, it, uh, I'm excited for the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Got my tickets. Oh, well, especially you. Got my tickets. Damn it. Going to some games. I hear that they're actually selling spots. Individuals. Flight deck now? Oh. Spots at flight deck. Yeah. Know, uh, which, that's what I that's heard. Which sucks for me because my thing was always <clears throat> buy the 500 seats for 20 bucks, get there as low yeah. as I can and grab a spot. Done. Well, I was, uh, I was discussing with Katie yeah. at the game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, I I said, w how many people do you think it would take to get seasons? Yeah. So that might be a discussion to have in the off season. We need somebody in Toronto, I think. Well, I, I, I have happen. a friend. It, so it's our rival press lawyer, actually. Excellent. So and we have Tay. Yeah. So I right? mean, if if we can figure out a way to get, I think we get seasons. Yeah. And why the fuck not? Yeah. But we need people in Toronto to do yeah. it. Yeah. Otherwise, because it's the train is way too expensive to take all the time. Yeah. And driving into Toronto is just stupid. Remember, my record is forty-four and twelve when I go to games. Just saying. Just saying. You've been to that many Blue Jays games? Yeah. Because as soon as that, well, when we started working at Rogers. <laughs> yeah. Fifty percent tickets, right? So yeah, I went that, that works. Every Sunday home game. Oh, I was there. there. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. And that was the first time I ever went to Jay's game. Because before that, I, one, I couldn't afford to go to a game. And two, I never really had anyone to go with. And then when I started working at Rogers, got the discount. I'm like, oh, who wants to go? Who wants to go? I, I, I get 50% off. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Who wants Fair to enough. go, ladies? Who wants yeah. to go? Who wants to go? Come on, ladies. Let's go watch right? baseball. Uh, she was on the field and did the dance. Yeah. That's right. By the way, I put that up on YouTube, that video. Mm. I have over 1,000 views. That's awesome. I'm at like 1,200, I think. Actually. That's awesome. That is fucking fantastic. <laughs> I got uh, this thing on a notification on my phone saying, your video has now over a thousand views. I'm like, what video? Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. You well, should that... be making money off of that. Have you enabled ads? Mon monetizing that shit? How do shit? I do that? That's uh, something I can I'll, do? I'll okay, show you all right. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, that's pretty much baseball. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it. That's, yeah, that's. It's pretty much sports. Well, the Jays have three players with 30 home runs and 100 RBIs. And uh, I... the last time they had that? I, I got 2001. Him. No. They didn't they win a World didn't. Series that year. They did not win the World Series, no. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, at the at the game on Saturday, yeah. uh, Bautista got his 100th walk. Of the season? Wow. So he has 100 RBIs. Yeah. And 100, 100 walks. walks. 100 runs has he scored? I believe it's 100 as well. Okay. That's like, amazing. that's fucking epic. That's something I want to look up and say, has anyone else done that? Maybe Barry Bonds. Maybe. He's pretty yeah, good. Barry Bonds, I think, crushed that, actually, yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Like, Barry Bonds, I think, is the only player in MLB history to get <laughs> intentionally walked with the bases loaded. <laughs> like, while the bases are loaded, they intentionally walked them. 
Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I would understand that for sure. Um, other than that, I know uh, I don't know if there's any college football fans out no. there, but it has it has started. Yeah. Um, too many teams. There, oh god, there's so many teams. So I follow you, you gotta, you really just gotta keep track of like the top twenty-five and who they're playing. And don't get me started on the bowl season. I don't know how they like dictate who goes where. There is a whole fucking. I'm sure there's a mathematical formula. There is a whole mathematical formula. It's <laughs> not. And this this year, this year is the first year of real playoffs. So, oh really? Oh, so the last. So the. The final bowl game is usually between the number one and number two seed. Mm -hmm. I believe this is the first year that the top four teams will do a playoff. Okay. So one will play four, two will play three, and those two teams right. will go to the the final bowl game, the BCS Bowl championship right. game okay. thing. Um, yeah. It, I mean, like, it's it's weird because all obviously the ranked teams are just crushed yeah. the unranked teams. Yeah. So like Georgia Tech is ranked 16th currently and they played Alcorn State this week and they won. Where is Alcorn State? <laughs> Why don't you google it? Um and they won 69 to 6. So it's close. Damn. Very close. Did they forget to put in the 6 after the 6? Uh, they scored 34 points in the first quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, that's that's even bad for a basketball team to allow their points in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. And no points against. Yeah. So good D. They play good D. Great D. Yeah, great D. That's when the coach is in the back. Why will let them have six points? What the fuck, guys? God damn it! Yeah. You said shut out. So, you say shut out. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so details. Uh, the Ottawa Toronto game. I think that one is in. Ottawa is 3-3 three, three at the end of regulation. Oh, there we go. Uh, update on the Jays game. It's now 4-1. Fucking Jays. Cecil pitching currently. Jerk. All right. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else sports-wise that would you would like to talk about this evening? Hmm. Nope. I think we're good. All right. So, um, thanks for listening to Scotch Sporting. We'll catch you next time. We will have Boobs back. Um, yes. That's making the show twice as interesting. Two boobs. Okay, bye. Oh, I forgot to mention how uh, Tiger Woods, thankfully, is going to be out.